Hey everyone, welcome to another edition of my live tea tasting. I've got an exciting blend for you guys lined up for today, so I'm going to go ahead and start the water because this one is going to be a treat. So today I'm doing uh, my Christmas show. Uh, yeah, the the, the uh, calendar was a little bit off, uh, so I'm doing my Christmas show this year. Uh, and for my Christmas uh, Christmas blend, I'm doing. Hey, Romando, welcome. Uh, for my cr Christmas blend, I'm doing reindeer fuel. This is going to be awesome. Alejandra, welcome. Miriam, welcome. Now this one I'm super excited to do. Hey Ma, welcome. I'm super excited to do this because uh, I tasted just a little bit of it. I haven't had it yet. Um, but I tasted like a little like a little sample like that big and it like blew me away. So I am going to go ahead and start this uh, up right away because I am super duper excited. Oh, it didn't even tear all the way. There we go. I can't blame the calendar. I know. Oh, yes. This is amazing. This already smells like it's 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 out of this world. This is um it kind of smells like I mean, what you know, what's that uh that cookie? The Girl Scout cookie. Um the Thin Mints. Chocolate with uh, with peppermint. Oh, it's so good. I'm going to go ahead and pour some of this out. Now, there's a very specific reason why this is called reindeer fuel. Um, what's in it... Uh, yeah, I, said the, uh, <laughs> I had to check to see if I uh, had the water running. So, what's in it is black tea, toasted mate, cocoa nibs, uh, natural chocolate fav flavor, uh, peppermint, and ginger. Now, I I don't really do mates uh, on the stream quite yet. Uh, this isn't technically a mate. It's a blend with mate in it. Um, mate is, like, really, really well caffeinated. Uh, what was it? Nope. Count me out of this tea. Oh, yeah, because you're not a fan of uh, chocolate and peppermint together. Oh, I remember. Yeah, I don't know. I, I, I don't know why. I mean, it tastes so it tastes so good to me. Like, I don't know. It's one of my favorite blends. It's this, uh, it's this, Cocoa Mint, and what was the other one? There's a, 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 a third one that's like a chocolate, uh, peppermint one that, I don't know, it's not coming to mind. Uh, but it, it always tastes delicious to me. Uh, I might actually do a, uh, chocolate chai version of this. That might be, a, a, a something to look into. Anyway, it sounds like my, uh... <laughs> Good job on remembering. Thanks. You know, it's that old man brain. It always uh, acts up on me sometimes. Uh, but it sounds like my my uh, water is almost done. Wally, welcome. It sounds like my uh, my water is uh, almost done. Shanna, welcome. Uh, now, this is going to be a little bit tricky because uh, generally you're supposed to understeep um, mate mm -hmm. because uh, it's not a very... It, it, it's it's um it's not a, it, it's not a traditional tea it's more of an herb uh but it's a it's a bit of a weak herb so you're supposed to do this um you, you're generally supposed to do it at 180 degrees but the um the directions say to do it at 212 so i'm going to go with the with the directions on this uh it's probably to get the full flavor out of the black tea uh the mate is going to be um uh, uh a little bit well I guess it won't really affect the taste very much because um, was it, you can't do peppermint uh, like you want to, but it reminds you of medicine so bad. What kind of medicine tastes like peppermint? Like, I've never had that. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but yeah, it's... Uh, uh, mate is... is, is um, what's the word I'm looking for? Like, I, I, I just lost my, my sense of direction. Um... But yeah, mate is uh, supposed to be done at about 180 degrees, uh, but because of the black tea, it's probably asking for a stronger temperature, so I'm going to do it that way. Um, I'm, you know, because, I mean, it does say, oh, that's why, for it's two to three minutes. Okay, so that's how it makes up for it. I'm going to do it at 212 degrees, um, but I'm going to do it for for about three minutes. Yeah, I was thinking about uh, understeeping it, and well, that's what they're suggesting, so... Uh, I'm on the right track with that. 
And I hear the water boiling. There we go, it just popped. So go ahead and pour some of this out. Oh, that looks beautiful. Oh, and I forgot to show you guys what it looks like. Uh, that's okay, I'll show it to you right now. Just flip it over. I see it's a very dark tea. Uh, there's little flecks of like yellow and um, I guess, I, I don't know how, it's like a light brown. You can see like you have like the yellows over here and the uh, lighter brown. The lighter brown is the mate. Um, you don't really see it, but there's actually uh, flecks of green in there. You, it's not coming out on the... Uh, uh, on the phone very well um, Maybe okay. Well, yeah, you could see it. I guess there's a little flex of green. That's the peppermint uh, Mate that's uh, the the big chunks of yellow uh, is the ginger uh, The mate is generally like an almost uh, light brown uh, light brown leaf uh, It's a short leaf, uh, so it's pretty easy to uh, to pick out um, yeah, I, I was gonna, <laughs> I was gonna pull some of it out, uh, but yeah, it's too late because it's already, it's already being steeped, so oops, my bad, I'll show you guys, uh, what it looks like after, hopefully I can get some good samples out of it, uh, you'll be able to see what it looks like, now, um, my nose is, I'm, I'm, I've got a, like a, a little bit of a, of a congestion issue, um, but I'm smelling this really, really nice, it's, uh, the chocolate and the peppermint are taking over the room, basically, uh, which I have no qualms about. Oh, there we go. The quackhead is going off, so my three minutes are up. There we go. Ooh, that's hot. Mind over matter. Mind over matter. <laughs> it is super hot, though. <laughs> There we go. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, pour some of this out so you guys can see what it looks like. Oh, it smells amazing. Oh, look at that color. It's almost red. I don't know if it's just the way that, the, that it's lit, uh, but it's like a really reddish brown. And that's not something I would have expected because you have the black tea... And mate isn't a very strong color. It's more like a, a of a light brown. Teresa, welcome. So I was not expecting a uh, a, a, a red looking tea, but uh, I guess because you have the mate, which is a lighter brown, and the ginger, which is like a, a, a yellow, um, it's kind of giving it a uh, a bit of a of a twist in color that I wasn't expecting, uh, and yes, Shan, I have had a um, a little sample. It was one of those little plastic cups, like the the ones that are this big. Uh, so I have had like it's less than a shot, but I had a taste. Uh, this is my first full cup that I'm having, and I'm like really really excited about it. And again, it's uh, unsweetened. Uh, so I'm going to get the full natural, uh, natural flavor of it. Oh, but it smells really, really nice. Oh, that is wonderful. I'm getting more of the mint with this blend, um, with the chocolate undertone, but I'll tell you why. The, uh, yeah, I wish that they had made more of it too. It's not even on the website anymore. Not that, uh, you could ever buy it. It was more of, uh, a free gift when you purchase, what was it, 49 Uh, $49 worth, uh, online. So, I wasn't able to, uh, to get it from there. I just went to the store and got it, uh, which is a lot easier for me. But, um, in this case, you know, it's, it's definitely a, uh, a good investment, at least in my opinion. Mm. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like real quick, uh, before I explain why the chocolate is not as, uh, strong. But check that out. You have, 
it's overall not a very dark tea. Uh, you have it's it's red and brown uh, with a little bit of yellow on the um, on the edge, like the 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 halo is almost gold. Uh, was the video is it working uh, on your phone? It's jumping around. Well, if you can go onto a computer and watch it, that would probably make it easier. Uh, yeah, the Girl Scout Thin Mint Cookie, that's, that's the way to go. That's, uh, just as I was describing it, it's really, really good. Now, the chocolate is not as strong, um, because of the toasted mate. Now, toasted mate is a, uh, well, let, let me, let me go back a little bit. Uh, mate in and of itself is a pretty strong, uh, herb. It kind of tastes like it's very earthy. Uh, yerba mate is uh, the mate mixed in with tobacco leaves. So it kind of has like a cigarette uh, taste to it. Rachel, welcome. I'm glad you could make it. Uh, the, the yerba mate has like a soft cigarette taste to it. Um, but that's not indicative of all mates. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of the yerba mate. Um, but toasted mate is really good. Uh, what they do is they physically toast the, the, the leaf. So you get like the mate flavor, but slightly burnt. Um, a little bit smoky, and that's kind of blending into the chocolate portion. Uh, so you don't really get as much of the chocolate. You get like a, um, like a, uh, how do I put this? Kind of like a, 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 a mixture of, like, like think of a really, really smoky black, uh, dark chocolate. That's what I'm getting, where it's it's almost unrecognizable. Like, you get notes of the chocolate, um, but the smokiness of the mate is, um, it's kind of like, it, 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 it's kind of like detracting from the actual uh, chocolatey flavor, and you're getting more of the peppermint because of it. Like, the the chocolate's muted, and while the chocolate is muted... The peppermint being what it is is strong and it's it's more profound and you're able to pick it out easier while your tongue is searching for the chocolate uh but the mate is getting in the way if that makes any sense it makes sense to my face my face my tongue my mouth whatever <laughs> it makes sense to my face <laughs> Ooh, okay yeah i don't know what that means it makes sense to my taste buds that's what I should have said. I don't know where face came from. Oh, man. It's, it's been a long week. And it shouldn't have been a long week because I've been off from work. So I don't know what's, I, I don't know what's going on. But anyway. Oh, so I'm getting this like this overall warm feeling from the uh, from the ginger. Like, I'm, it, this is, like, ideal. What was this? I'm still stuck on your tongue searching for chocolate? Well, to be fair, my tongue is always searching for chocolate. Uh, <laughs> it's not always going to find it. But, uh, you know, if I'm eating a steak, it's like, oh, this is steak. This is nice. Where's the chocolate? <laughs> you know, you want to have a mental image of me walking around with my tongue out? Yeah, that's that's accurate. Got this whole uh, mask, like like Jim Carrey for the mask, like, ah! <laughs> that would be me all day long. But uh, the ginger is, like, really doing a, uh, a really good job. Now, I have that little bit of, a, of congestion going on, but the ginger is already starting to loosen things up. Um... I could feel it in the back of my throat. And it's it's like it's starting to it, it, it's starting to, to 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 really clean out my to clear out my sinuses, which it's it's coming in handy for sure. Um but yeah, like I if I would have if I would have started this earlier, I'd probably be all clear uh, cleared up by now. 
Mm. Now the chocolate, the chocolate and the ginger has always been a bit of a, um, it, it's a good combination. I really enjoy it. Uh, it's like, like I love the chocolate chai, uh, and the, and the ginger is not the only spice in that, but it comes out really well. Uh, whew. <laughs> I'm like slightly, uh, slightly hot there. It's, it's, it's hitting me right where I need to, you know, um, sometimes, you know, when, when you have a little bit of a head cold or a little something like it's not, I don't want to call this a cold because I'm not feeling sick. It's literally just my nose. Um, it, it feels more like an allergy, like an all day itching right over here, but this is this is actually helping. Like I should have, I, sh I I should have cheated and had some before, but uh, I, I wouldn't do that to you guys. But now that I have had it, I'll be able to uh, treat my cold a little bit better, or treat my nasal thing. I don't know. Oh, that's so nice. Whew. Now all of this is like. It's starting to clear up. I was not like drippy. <laughs> well, I don't want to say drippy because that's just gross. But it's, it's it's like I feel everything loosening up. Uh, is it wasabi level type of nasal clearing? Um, not quite, but it's physically like it's physically noticeable. Like. How do I put this? Um, like, I felt pressure up here that I didn't realize I had until I started drinking. Because now, everything is, like, starting to uh, release. And I'm I'm breathing better. Like, I, I've been breathing well all day, but now I'm breathing better. Look at that. Okay, not as well because everything is still like working its way, but like it's 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 starting to uh, to feel good. And I hear you, Shanna. I would totally drink this all year round too. This is really good. Uh, I'm sure I could probably blend something similar to this um, online. Now they don't have. I don't believe they have toasted mate uh, on there. But they do have, like, I, I think, like, chocolate chai would make a good substitute. Um, well, I'll, I'll, I'll give it a shot. And uh, you and Teresa are going through the same thing. Yeah, I don't know. It's something that's, it's that time of year where everybody's getting colds and everybody's uh, starting to, starting to come down with a little something. Uh, thankfully, this is the, the like, it's not, it, it's not a full-on cold. Um, it's just a, it's just a, um, it's just like, I'm able to breathe all day, no problem. So, yeah, I don't know how to, uh, explain it exactly. Um, but let me, you know, let me check the blends to see if toasted, toasted mate is on there. Just going to take a quick look. Herbal, herbal. Toasted, ah, toasted mate is on there. Nice. Okay. So we got toasted mate. Uh, the black tea is going to be either Ceylon or something. Uh, so I'll go with... Wow. Oh, Ceylon Sonata. Yeah, I'll start with Ceylon Sonata. So I'm just going to look to see if, if they have all of the... Yeah, they got cocoa nibs, peppermint, and ginger. I'll just need something for the natural chocolate flavor because they don't, you know, they do have chocolate chips. I don't know. We'll see. I'm just like experimenting here. Yeah, like I, I, I like the, the, the chocolate chip. Uh, I like to put chocolate chips in it. Um, I've, I've done that for, uh, for a couple of, uh, of blends at home. 
And, you know, like, sometimes I'm surprised how well it comes out. You know, it's like the, the chocolate... The chocolate chips melt uh, in in like in the super hot uh, super hot temperature, and it's like okay, you know, it comes out pretty well. It's a little bit. It's usually a little bit creamier than I expect, but you know that's 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 just the the nature of it. I like to get a good. Um, the chocolate chip tea, I'm not a fan of the chocolate chip tea only because um, you don't really get the chocolate chip out of it. Like, they usually, all you really taste uh, of those flavored teas are are the black tea. Um, like, last year I did Christmas tea and it was okay. There was just so much in it and it all you tasted was the black tea. So it kind of, like, took away from... from the whole Christmas experience. I don't know, like there's got to there's got to be a way to uh whoops, what was that? I'm just getting a, a, a notification about why is my device running low on storage space? I don't have I didn't save anything. Oh well. Anyway <laughs> that's that's neither here nor there. But uh yeah like 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 I was saying the, the chocolate chip tea uh is so overpowering like like the black tea is so overpowering that I don't know it's just it doesn't really do anything for me. You know maybe maybe if I was to uh to try something else uh I would I would I would get more uh, a bit more luck. Um but yeah I mean you know what the chocolate chai actually has the black tea in it. So that might make a suitable substitute instead of the uh, the Ceylon Sonata. But here I am trying to uh, <laughs> trying to copy a tea only because it's uh it's only available during Christmas. There has to be a suitable substitute. So we'll 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 figure it out. <laughs> This is true, yeah. Like the the, the Naperville guys, uh, they are they are pretty good with uh, with blending. Uh, and then again, so's the uh, the State Street guys. Those <clears throat> I I I did make a couple of um, not personal blends. What's the word? Um, I made a couple of uh, of um, ah. I'm brain farting. What's the word? Custom. Custom blends. I did uh, have a couple custom blends. And it came out pretty well. So I would I would totally be happy with that. You know, just to go down there and experiment. See what it, what it tastes like. Um, and maybe... I don't know. Maybe I'll come up with a good... Um, with a good... Uh, reindeer fuel inspired tea. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Because it's it's true, it is a shame that this is only uh, uh, available once a year. Um, I really truly like it. This is it's a really it's a really nice blend. It's it's strong but not overpowering. Um, and you know it's one of my favorites, chocolate and and peppermint. You have a good combination there. Mm. Do I have a fly in here? How is there a fly in my room in the middle of winter? <laughs> well, that's just unsettling. I don't know. Like, house flies usually go away around uh, 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 around winter. I don't know why it's around here bothering me not right now. But whatever. That's neither here nor there. Ooh. Yeah, everything is like... Everything is clearing up. Like if 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 I was if I was not streaming right now, I would be blowing my nose. And uh, was it you had a mosquito in your car? How are they still alive? Like why are they? <laughs> like first of all, why do they exist to begin with? Mosquitoes are completely useless, um, except for like annoyances. But other than that, yeah, they they should not be alive right now. 
They should be in hibernation or whatever. Oh, that is really nice. Like, I feel all the the heat in the back of my throat. Um, and it's soothing. I had a little bit of a sore throat, slightly, uh, all day, but... It's, it's actually, this is, this is very soothing. The, uh, the chai is like really burning in there and, um, it's, 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 it's really spicy. Like, I don't remember the sample that I had being this spicy, but it's definitely worth it. Oh, and I got something in my eye too. Ooh, my eye is watering. I think I got an eyelash. I don't have germs. I'm not contagious. <laughs> this is this is like either an allergy or or it's something very slight. Like I I have not been dead on my feet. I haven't felt any um I haven't felt any uh of the usual uh the usual symptoms or or anything of a cold. I'm not running a fever. At least I don't think so. <laughs> I don't feel hot. Uh <laughs> If I was really feeling that bad, I wouldn't be streaming right now. Um, but yeah, I mean, it is what it is. And it's it's really not bad. And I'm trying really hard not to drink all of this at once. Like I'm taking a little bit of a sip at a time. Um, but this is it's really it's really hard for me to restrain myself because. The taste is, it's really sweet. It doesn't need any sweetener. It doesn't need any sugar or, uh, or in this, in my case, stevia. Uh, it's, it's a good blend. Um, it's really, oh, I'm really, I'm really enjoying it. I think tomorrow I might have to like put some, something together. <laughs> it won't be, it, it, it won't be the, uh, the authentic blend, but it would be inspired. So I'll I'll have to note that in the credits um because I want to have this all year round too. <laughs> yeah, once I have it, once I have a good um a good blend going, then you know, it'll be it'll be it'll be pretty cool. Uh speaking of which, I did have somebody review my uh, my orange creamsicle and they loved it. <laughs> so, you know, it always it always thrills me when somebody buys my orange creamsicle uh, out of nowhere. You know, it, it happens from time to time, and you know, it's like it's it's pretty well received, and I'm I'm uh, I'm always grateful for the feedback. Yeah, Mike Fuel that would definitely uh, <laughs> that would definitely mean something uh, to get me going. Lord knows I don't need the caffeine because I'll just be like wobble 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 wobble. <laughs> I'm usually pretty energetic anyway. What do you mean pause? Pause what? Mm. Now this is the kind of tea that also, I believe would taste really good uh, cold. If you were to ice this up, this would be really nice. Please do what, that again with the, the Pac-Man. The wobble 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 wobble. <laughs> that's that's my energized um my energized uh sound is wobble 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 wobble. wobble. <laughs> Somebody should be should uh, make a uh, uh an animated gif of that along with the sound just wobble 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 wobble. wobble. <laughs> oh my god. That would be awesome. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think that uh, you techies out there should go ahead and do that, and then like comment uh, every so often on my uh, on my uh, on my what we calls it on my uh, on my status updates or something. No, don't turn it off. There we go. <laughs> I would love to see that. Uh, yeah, somebody reviewed my orange creamsicle, and you know it's 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 always thrilling. Like I I love it. Uh, I'll actually, if you want, I can read it right now because 
Uh, no, I don't want to get that. Oh, they're going to make me go to it. That's all right. Blends. My blends. And ungroups. Where is it? There it is. Orange Creamsicle. I'm missing the laugh. What laugh? What is it? Is my channel... What was it? Is is it family friendly? Family channel friendly? Yeah, I'm, I'm completely missing something. Uh, but yeah, here's what, what they said. Uh, I ordered this weeks ago as a Christmas present to myself because I love orange teas. It's been killing me uh, to have it sit in a gift bag for two weeks unable to open it. But it was well worth the wait. Uh, this was the perfect mix of vanilla and orange to make it a smooth cup of tea with enough orange flavor to make it pop. I honestly didn't taste the pineapple or coconut, which may have been because I didn't get any in my cup, or they are subtle enough to just enhance the flavor uh, instead of detract from it. Not sure which yet, but, uh, but we'll happily try again and again and dot dot dot. Oh, is this? I wouldn't invite kids to this stream. Yeah, I, I'm totally missing it. Like, right now, your dirty mind is working overtime because I have no idea what you're referring to. But, yeah, that was, that was the review, and I am thrilled about it. I'm glad somebody uh, enjoys it. I liked it. <laughs> you can actually like your own reviews on your... Um, on your uh, on your blends of teas, so kudos. That's some good stuff. Mm. And I'm trying hard not to drink all of this down so fast. My orange creamsicle. Okay, yeah, that that's that's eh, it's 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 reaching a little bit, but I can see where you're coming from. <laughs> it like it, it didn't occur to me like half the times I make a dirty joke and I it, it doesn't like I'm supposed to be uh, on my best behavior but yeah that never really works. <laughs> well anyway, back to the tea. Um, as it's cooling off a little bit, uh, <laughs> the image you must erase. You see, you guys are torturing poor Rachel. That she has to see me on Wednesday, because that's the next time I'm coming in. And <laughs> she'll be like, ooh. <laughs> Although I still have not found your uh, your new seat. So I guess that's going to be like, <laughs> that's going to be the buffer until I do. <laughs> but anyway, uh, it's starting to cool off a little bit. Um, and it's like... The chocolate is becoming more uh, pronounced. The toasted mate is still there. It's still uh, a little bit smoky, but it's 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 subdued a little bit. Um, was it rewatch your stream with a mindset, uh, with that mindset? And oh yeah, that's I, I'm sure there are. <laughs> like I I usually catch them on other people, but um, when it's when it's happening to me, and I'm concentrating on the uh, on the stream. I don't always catch my own. That's what she says. Although a lot of the time in, in, in person I do. Oh, that's so nice. That's what she said. <laughs> but, yeah, it's not, <laughs> that was a very low, that's what she said. Well, yeah, you are. So you get to, uh, you get to make fun of me then. Oh, I'm going to pour out the rest of this. Oh, and I only have about half a cup left. You see, that's what happens when I don't restrain myself. Like, I keep on drinking and drinking, and then it's just like... I don't have enough at the end. 
Oh, I know that. Uh, I know that 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 uh, that like. <laughs> oh man, what? Uh, that that. Oh, excuse me, my. Oh, that's all so clearing out. Oh, okay. There we go. Luke, welcome. <laughs> I meant to. Oh, I meant to say because I saw the like with your photo on it. And I'm glad you're finally able to like drop in on one of my uh, streams. Whew. Wow. Like for a minute there, everything was clearing out. Is it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like everything everything came rushing to the back of my throat and that's what she said uh she, and and like i kind of choked it wasn't a uh yes it, this tea is is kind of hitting hard because there's a good amount of uh of ginger in here that's giving it a spice and you know you combine that with my um my uh, current congestion issues and everything started like everything started like flooding down in one shot and I started to choke oh I can handle the spice on a <laughs> on a good day believe me um but when you're when you're trying to talk and all of a sudden like all the liquid is going down the back of your throat that's what she said well she couldn't really say because the liquid's going down the back of the throat but <laughs> <laughs> but it's hard to it's hard to talk with when it just hits right like right there. Apparently, th uh, apparently so. Like I'm glad I do this at uh, at eight o'clock because this is like this is like community after dark. <laughs> but to be fair, it is winter and it gets dark a lot earlier now. So, this is all just, this is all getting uh, fresh and, and, and spicy. <laughs> Does it see more throat comments? I know, and uh, you know, it's not, it's not helping me, it's not helping, it's not helping my cause anymore because now everything is still draining, and so it keeps choking me, that's what she said, and... Like, it, like, they're just, it's just, it's just coming out. That's what she said. So, <laughs> I'm trying to behave and it's not quite working, but that's okay. We're all, we're all adults, not always like adult minded. <laughs> we're all immature in our own ways, but that's okay. That's, that's, that's part of what makes this, uh, this community special. We can all laugh and joke and just uh kick back what was it i'm not quite into that but <laughs> hey natalie welcome <gasps> oh excuse me this is an entire stream where i'm giving reviews on how different guys taste that was not intentional i wasn't talking about guys i was talking about chais <laughs> that's the difference Mm. Now I'm I'm trying to take shorter sips, only because um, only because I'm trying to savor it a little bit more. Uh, was it true that I love it? We <laughs> one racy, filthy family. Yeah, we're all demented <laughs> in that way. Uh, and yeah, that was an interesting stream. But I would like to think that all of my streams are interesting. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> oh man but anyway yeah this is really doing a number on my uh on my sinuses like it's 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 really uh well you know i always do try to make it last an hour at least uh because that's what a true professional does although am i professional if i'm not getting paid just wondering <laughs> uh but anyway yeah, I lost my train of thought. Uh, why can't I t take you seriously? See, that that's fine. That's fine. Like I don't I don't care. Like my mind is always in the gutter anyway. 
I just don't really share it that often at work because, <laughs> you know, HR can like just be passing by. <laughs> you cannot make it last an hour. Like, I guess that just takes practice. You got to keep going in and <laughs> you just got to got to get that stamina up. Mm. Woo. That is some good stuff. That a good road does clear the sinuses. <laughs> That's I don't know if you're talking about like drugs or <laughs> because now now you're heading into a completely different area of NSFW that <laughs> That's that's rated R material right there. Um but yeah, that's <laughs> anyway. I'm like I I'm forgetting all about this tea right now. I'm just going off into left field. You guys are incorrigible, but I love it. No no sex? What then I'm not sure what a row what a row is or what you're referring to. But I just realized I never showed you what this tea looks like after it's steeped. Oh, and it's already dripping all over the place. All right, let me see if I can get out some of the um, the mate. Uh, wow, I just pulled out a little bit, and it's all black tea. Oh, okay, if you say so. I've never heard that uh, that particular term. Wow, I cannot find any mate in there. Oh, that's right. Uh, your your favorite is the mates. I almost forgot. Okay, I think I've got one of the mate leaf. Oh, but it's so... Ugh, okay. This will have to do. Oh, I can't, I can't quite get it. I'll have to show you guys later. Like, there must be like, this must be like a heavy concentration of black tea. Because there's very little mate in it. <gasps> no, I've never heard about that. <gasps> oh, excuse me. I've heard of a roll in the hay, but not a roll in the sheet. Hey, Nicole, welcome. I'm glad you could make it. And you're only 45 minutes late this time. <laughs> you're getting better. Oh, this is so good. Um, oh, you know what? I better check. Okay, so I do have uh, maybe about a quarter of a cup left. Well, I'm glad that, uh, <laughs> no worries, I'm glad that you're you're being responsible. You don't pronounce it like a rowboat, like row a boat? Then how do you pronounce it? Oh, I blame Target for everything. Like, I don't know any other way to pronounce row as it's spelled R-O-W. Like, I've never heard any other way. But since I have a quarter of a cup left, I'm going to start talking about the um, the announcements. I do have a couple. Um, yeah, I'll start off with uh, Charity. Uh, charity Month is coming up. Um, I'm still not sure if I want to do it for uh, February or March. I'm leaning more towards March so I get the extra day. Um, but I have collected all 20, um, all 20 suggestions. So they're all written down. They're all, uh, they're going to be polled. Um, so it's going to be five sets of four. So we're going to have four a week for the first four weeks. And then for the, uh, for the fifth week, it's going to be the winners of the, the, the previous winners uh, of the previous four polls. So, that being said, yeah, that's exactly it. Bracket season. 
Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna start doing it probably next uh, next week after the holiday is over. So I'm thinking. Let me see. Friday, January fourth might be a good time to start. Yeah, so we got one, two, three, four, and then February first would be the fifth poll. And that's when, I guess that's when the winner will be announced uh, by the end of, Fe of February 1st. So, Monday. Um, oh, sorry about that. I lost uh, Wi-Fi. Okay, no problem. Go take care of the, the smidgen. Uh, she'll, she'll, uh, <laughs> she needs it. Um, but yeah, I kind of froze there. I just lost uh, Wi-Fi for a minute, so I switched over to um to my data plan thank god like i'm i'm getting used to it so that uh, i don't lose you guys so quickly uh but anyway yeah i'll, I'll be doing that um i'll be doing uh, i'll be announcing it on february 4th um and i'll also be putting together the uh the challenges and brackets um and we'll see where we can take it from there uh, hopefully I get a good response because this is going to be something that I'm truly, truly, uh, pushing for. I really enjoy, uh, giving back to the community. So if I can, if I can get, uh, if I can raise enough money, that'll, that'll, uh, be just a wonderful, uh, wonderful thing. And yeah, I know it's snowing. Ugh, it was snowing, uh, earlier today and I hate it. I hate snow. <laughs> I know everybody like looks at me funny whenever I say that, but bah humbug, you know, cause snow sucks. Well, Shadow looks like you should go and park in the garage. Go out. It's not too. It's not too late. Uh, <laughs> just hurry up and run. Um, and take your phone with you so that you can stay tuned. <laughs> uh, what else? Uh, other announcements. Uh, this is going to be the, uh, the official last stream of 2018, uh, so it's time for me to get slightly sentimental. Uh, <laughs> I want to thank you guys for making this year incredible. This has been, um, my second year doing this, and it's been a wonderful experience. I never expected, uh, to be doing this for so long. Like, literally, I thought that this was only going to be a couple of mu uh, a couple weeks, uh, and then a couple weeks turned into a couple months, and now a couple of months have turned into a couple years. And this is more and more exciting. It's getting to be um, much bigger than I thought. I did not expect to, to be going so long and to, to enjoy doing this so much and, and sharing uh, my experiences with you guys. Um, and you know, it really means a lot to me. I really, I cannot, I cannot verbally, uh, express that as much as I would like because, you know what I mean? Words just are not there. I never, I never once sought to, to, to do this. I mean, for like all you guys who know me, you know, I'm not like an attention hog. I'm not like somebody who needs to be in the forefront um, but this, getting the opportunity to share one of my passions with so many people and, you know, reaching out and, 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 you know, like, like having people that are actually interested and coming to me with questions, um, it's showing that I, I like, I'm really having an impact that I didn't expect. So I wanted to thank all you guys for continuing to support me, continuing to uh, encourage me, uh, even when I didn't think I could do it anymore. You know, somebody's always stepping up and says, you know what, Mike, you are doing a good job. Just keep pushing, just keep going. And, you know, like, that means the world to me. I cannot, I cannot thank you guys enough. Um, this has been an incredible year, and... You know, I'm looking forward to to whatever what, what we can get done for 20, uh, 2019 as well. Uh, Charity Month should be a regular thing. Annual, 
maybe semi-annual, I don't know. It depends on how many followers we can get. Uh, but this is, this is a huge blessing, and I thoroughly appreciate you guys uh, for keeping me encouraged and keeping me energized and excited to keep coming back and doing this um, every, uh, every so often. You know, it's like, there are times where I just don't feel like I can keep going, and you know, you, you, you get me back up on my feet, and I am extremely grateful for it. Uh, so, you know, that's, that's my sentimentality of, uh, of the day, um, of the year, <laughs> and, uh, I'm looking forward to what we can do for next year, um, hopefully, <laughs> thanks, I can do it, uh, <laughs> hopefully, um, we'll continue to keep growing, we'll continue to, uh, make an impact, I'm, you know, I encourage you guys, uh, we enjoy feeding your addiction, absolutely, like, I'm gonna go broke doing this in the best way, um, but yeah, uh, that's, that's, that's where I'm at right now, um, I do have another announcement, uh, you guys, most of you know that I was, uh, I've been saving for, uh, a trip, and, I have officially made the down payment. I will be traveling to um, New Zealand and Australia uh, at the end of uh, April into May. So I might be streaming from there. I don't know. Um, <laughs> all of those likes, thanks. <laughs> uh, I don't know yet. We'll see what the what the setup would be like. Um, but yeah, like I, I'm gonna take this is my first overseas trip. Um, if not for a stream, you guys will definitely be seeing uh, pictures because I've got some really good, uh, <laughs> really good things planned. So uh, I will keep you guys updated while while I'm there. Uh, so yeah, that was my my third announcement. Um, I don't have anything else, so I'm going to open up the floor. Uh, questions, comments, anything you want to talk about, throw it at me, now's the time. And for Teresa's weekly question, uh, what would I pair this tea with? Um, this tea is very much a dessert tea. So, um, chocolate, uh, chocolate and mint uh, goes well with ice cream, um, chocolate and mint goes well with, like, cake, uh, I would definitely put cookies with it, like, there's a, I, I would keep this paired with a lot of desserts, um, uh, oh, excuse me, uh, I would, I would, I would keep it sweet, because this is, oh, excuse me, look at the hiccups, this is a super sweet tea, uh, strong flavored, um, but not, it, it's, it's, it's overpower. it's, it's not, I'm sorry, it's not overpowering, uh, but it is, it, it is noticeable, you know, if, if that makes any sense, I don't know if, uh, if I'm just rambling now, uh, which tea would go well with chicken pot, chicken pot, chicken pot pie, <laughs> oh man, uh, I get the reference. I don't know who else would, <laughs> but um, I would say what was the uh, what was that one? Not Kukicho. What's the uh, the the Genmai Cha? I would say Genmai Cha because it's got like that that salty. Uh, what was this? It, what's so bad? You, you, oh, you want to try it so bad? Oh, okay, yeah, that's. <laughs> Like, you, you threw me off there. He came out in two sentences. I want to try it so bad. I think he said, what? I want to try it so bad. I'm like, wait, what? But, uh, yeah, you don't worry. You'll be able to try this. I'm going to, I'll bring, I'll be bringing it to work. I'm sure. Um, just, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just remind me. Uh, I'll be back to work on, uh, on Wednesday. Uh, so yeah, that's, that's gonna be on my to-do list. Um, 
but yeah, uh, for for the chicken pot pie, I would say get my cha only because it tastes like rice. Um, it will taste like bagao. So you know, you get the rice taste with the with the chicken pot pie. Uh, it's also salty, savory. Uh, with the gravy, I think that that would be a really good uh, combination. Is it you're hoarding mine? <laughs> Are you hoarding yours and protecting it with sharp objects? I don't blame you. Uh, yeah, it, it really was a good one. I'm, I I knew you'd appreciate that. That's always one of my favorites. Uh, I didn't know that it would taste so good when I tried it, but kudos to uh, kudos to the Chinese. They know how to they know how to spice up a tea. Oh, but not to worry, shout out. Now that I now that I have the recipe, I could I could put something together. Um, online, and we'll be able to uh, order it all year round, so you don't have to worry about it. Not for too long, anyway. Um, but yeah, <laughs> and uh, also, uh, yeah, Shannon, I'm gonna we're 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 gonna be doing the uh, the gift exchange tomorrow, so don't forget because <laughs> I'm I've got all of my stuff all ready uh, to go. Ah. <laughs> Shout out to your peeps. Yes. You know, the uh, every time I hear that, I hear of the... Um, I think of like the, the little marshmallow chicks for Easter. <laughs> I don't know. That's, that's, my, that's my, uh, my thought process. Oh. Oh, I just realized. <laughs> you, meant, you meant the Chinese. <laughs> okay. Did you say? Yeah. But you, I, I'm a little confused. You said shout out to your peeps. Do you mean the Chinese for the tea, or the, uh, oh, or shout out to me as one of your peeps for traveling? Because now I'm a little bit confused. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I'm still like I'm still draining. Yeah, I'm going to have to, like, blow my nose as soon as this is over and just finish off the process because everything is, like, this is a really good, this is, like, the best way to, uh, there, there, there probably is drugs in that. You know, that, that would explain why it's, uh, it's draining my sinuses. It's medicine, quote, air quotes, <laughs> medicine there. Oh, uh, but yeah, I mean, it's like you have the uh, the the ginger with the peppermint, so that actually is probably helping me out as well. I didn't even think about that. Like, the spice from the ginger is loosening everything up, uh, and the peppermint makes you breathe easier. So that's probably uh, all. That's probably combining and, and doing it all together. Madison, welcome. You're only an hour late. <laughs> I'm glad you can make it uh, at the end of it. No, I'm just teasing. <laughs> Watch, I'm going to make that joke and people are going to stop watching altogether. <laughs> They're like, Mike is mean. No, I'm just teasing. Oh, but I am at the very end of it. I still have like about two or three more sips left. Mm. Make that one or two. Uh, so if you guys had a uh, have any questions, comments, or anything, uh, just throw it at me. Now is the time. Uh, well, it's okay. You're you're welcome to have all the wine you want. I'm not gonna judge. Um, <laughs> uh, but to answer your first question, uh, what was it? Give me a, a a last taste test review. Uh, can you drink it cold? Um, yeah, absolutely. Uh, Madison, I'm doing, um, reindeer fuel, which tastes like, uh, Thin Mint Girl Scout cookies. Pretty good. Um, I would actually be interested in trying to make a pu'er with, with this. I don't know. Maybe, I, I think it could be, uh, it could be done as well. Yeah, that, that, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna look into uh, making a pu'er version of this as well. I think it's uh, I think it's 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 a good um it's it's going to be a good uh complement to the chocolate cuz the chocolate chai puer was outstanding. So this is going to be like incredible. 
I know, I know. I, don't worry. That's the, it's not going to take the place. I know you don't like Pu'er, uh, but it's not going to take the 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 place of the one that I'm making. The Pu'er is is for me. Uh, the what was this girl Girl Scout Thin Mint sounds so good. Well, I'm glad you like it because this is not going to be uh, sold until next year. Um, it was a Christmas special, but I do have the recipe. Uh, so I can make a, I can make my version of it. What was this? Especially in, oh, T-Form. I was like, in TWA? What, the, the, the airline? Are they even still in business? I don't even know. Uh, pu <laughs> Puer is Pui Air. <laughs> Welcome back, Ma. Uh, what do you mean from, from where? Where's, uh, the, the tea from? It's from Adagio. Um, but I'm going to be making my own version. Uh, I'll send you the link once it's done. Um, I'll have to figure out a bootleg name for it. <laughs> usually, usually I don't like copying other people's flavors, but because this is a, uh, a limited edition, um, I want to, to make something that's similar, that's available all year round. Yeah, that's what I thought. TWA was, has been gone for a while. Um... That used to be like the 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 joke that when we were kids, uh, TWA stands for Teeny Weeny Airlines. It was so stupid. It was awful. Uh, what was this? Uh, you said it's not being sold till next year. Oh yeah, it's not being sold uh, at Adagio. Um, Adagio dot com makes it. They 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 well they're not they don't sell it per se. They give it away as a um. As a, uh, a a gift where you buy forty what was it forty nine dollars or more, um, but yeah, uh, but yeah, TWA used to be a thing. It used to be uh, it used to be an airline, and I'm just giving away my age right now. Uh, <laughs> it's some good stuff, but you know, I mean, I, I I've I've flown TWA on occasion when I was a kid, uh, but yeah. That's that's where it used to be. Um, I think they were either acquired, I want to say, or they were they just went out of business. Um, there was a merge before, but I think that was uh, Delta and U.S. What was it? Uh, and Pan Am was it Delta and Pan Am that merged? Uh, and I think just TWA just went out of business. Uh, this? I'll have to let you know when they sell this year's flavor. Um, I, I mean, it's, it's, I'm going to, I'll let you know when I create my version of it. It's going to be pretty much the same thing. Um, with a slight change in it, but I think it's going to be a good change. So, <laughs> anyway, uh, last call because I'm on my last sip. Uh, questions, comments, anything you want to talk about, throw it at me. Now's the time because this is my last sip. Okay, I lied. There's a little bit more left. <laughs> but it's not going to last long. So I'll just go ahead and gulp it down. Well, you're absolutely welcome to try it. It's uh, it's it's gonna be a good one. I have yet to uh, to create a tea that uh, that I didn't like. I have tasted all of mine, and you know I am a little bit biased, but what can I say? <laughs> there have been a lot of other people who've tasted it, and they they love it too. So you know, it's 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 a good thing that uh, it, it's 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 a good thing. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and, uh, wrap things up. Uh, once again, thank you so much for sticking with me this year. Uh, I look forward to next year and see what, uh, kind of surprises it'll bring. Um, so you guys, uh, keep on, keep on supporting the community on Facebook and I will see you guys next year. Oh, uh, yeah, next year. All right. <laughs> Have a good one.